discuss any personal things that may have happened over the weekend. Imani Bates is headed to Michigan State in 2022. It's a little strange, one, for him to announce a commitment this early, but this is supposed to be the greatest high school you know, prep basketball player since LeBron James. The, the best, uh, what's the word, prospect yeah. since LeBron James. I find it a little strange because the odds are by the time we get to 2022, players will be able to go straight to the league again. And even if they're not, they are going to be able to sign, just like some of the kids did this year, Jalen Green, etc. They can sign with the G League, play a 25-game schedule, whatever it is, and develop for the league by league people, right? League coaches. Does this surprise you at all that, that he came out and made a commitment really two years early? No, because that's the rules now. And if he goes to college, and look, I don't I don't think there's anyone playing can like convincing themselves that if he can go straight to the league, that he's gonna do that. And that his commitment to Michigan State is irrelevant then. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But he's made a commitment to a college because that's the school he's choosing to go to if he has to go to school for a year. Yeah, I, I found it strange. Like, it, maybe it's just the timing of it. You know, at two years early, you know. I, he knows where he wants to go. Yeah, Jalen Green did say before he picked the G League that if he were going to go to college, that he would go to the University of Memphis. The commitment doesn't really mean anything now, but, it you know, I guess it's nice to have that. You know, if, if he does play college basketball, everybody knows he's going to play for Tom Izzo. And that yeah. says something about the school, and it can possibly help them recruit other athletes going forward. Hey, if this kid wants to go, that's what's going on, right? So, But right now, he's working under the rules that he has. He knows what the G League is. He knows what they pay. Yeah. He would rather, he would rather go to Michigan State than the G League. I can't, understand that. I'm okay with that. Can't say that I blame him. So if, if yeah. you want to go and get but, the college experience for a year, that's right. Absolutely. You get the college experience, and you get coached by an unbelievable coach. Okay, uh, Hall of Famer, it, maybe. That's right. A spectacular, yeah. a way better basketball coach than you're getting in the G League. All right, I this assure you of that. This is true. No, I, I, you know, I understand that. There is zero doubt in my mind that this is not him going back on his word if he chooses to go to pros immediately if that option becomes available. Yeah. Okay. He is committing to a college out of all of the colleges. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I I was I wasn't so much uh I wasn't so much surprised that he committed to Michigan State. I was more so surprised that he's committing two years early. Like he it's, just it's, knows where he wants to go. He knows what he wants to do. He seems very decisive. That's a grown up thing. Yes, it that's is. A, that's a mature trait in somebody to to be able to ask them what would you like and have them give you a direct answer. I mean, you you and I have wives. There's no doubt, and this is not just a, a female thing. This is an every person thing. Ask somebody where they would go to dinner. That is a 45-minute conversation. Yeah, And typically. at the end of that 45 minutes, there's a really good chance you don't have an answer. That is entirely true. And so now just, this kid knows. Adults two don't know old. how to make decisions. This If this kid knows how to be decisive in life, that's a very good trait to have. Yes, it is, and it's very fitting for the type of players that Michigan State I was just about has. to say, that seems exactly like the kind of player that goes to Michigan State. You got that right. Yeah, basketball you're wise, looking 100%. at all of your options, Michigan State's probably not going to be where you land. Yeah. If you want the tour and you want to be kissed and you want to be, to be you know, paraded out in front of everyone, Michigan State's probably not where you're going to choose. You're going to choose one of the other – big blue blood areas, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if those are your ambitions and goals, they're different than what Izzo teaches at Michigan State. If you want to go be developed, yep. Michigan State is the place for you.